In this video, we're going to learn how to solve one-dimensional kinematics problems the way experts do, using the sketch organized solve methods, aka SOS. So first we want to sketch what's going on, and we start by drawing the motion. So we want to show what's going on, whether this is a motion diagram or a sketch or anything like that. It's your choice for how this goes. Our next is to diagram the motion. We want to graph the motion. We want to see how this works in different directions and different derivatives. So we are going to start in one dimension with right, our acceleration versus time, our velocity versus time, and our position versus time. And very often our acceleration versus time is going to be one horizontal line, occasionally one horizontal line, then a different horizontal line if we have a question of two accelerations. Then our velocity is either going to be a uh, linear line with a non-zero slope if there's a non-zero um, value for acceleration. And then our position is going to be at worst a parabola. So for our organize, we start with our equations. R for one dimensional kinematics, equation number one, final velocity equals initial velocity plus acceleration times time. We're not going to worry about vectors since we're just doing in one direction. And equation two, which is that final position equals initial position plus initial velocity times time plus one half the acceleration times time squared. So we are always thinking about right which equation to use and how to do that. How to help with that is to write a table of knowns and unknowns. When we are talking about knowns, we are talking about things that we determined either from the problem or from making these graphs or from making those drawings of the motions. Oftentimes it will not be directly given, but will have to be somewhat inferred or sussed out. And then the unknowns is mainly what the problem is asking for. Um, and then our last thing is, if time is not known, we want to mark it as unknown. So very often, we will not know time, and time is a very good unknown that we will need to solve for during this. As we want to solve, right, what we want to do is we want to look at our equations. We want to look at our knowns and unknowns. We want to try to find. Any relation that has only one unknown and the rest known. So we are going to call this one equation, one unknown. And we'll shorten this as we get into many, many others. If this doesn't happen, then we'll have to do what's called the simultaneous equation. We'll have to solve two different equations at the same time, except we don't really want to solve two different equations at the same time. What we want to do is we want to symbolically solve for one unknown and plug it into another equation. So we plug it in, right? We can also say we're substituting it in. Uh, we don't want to do any right subtracting of equations, setting equations equal to each other, or anything like that. How we turn simultaneous equations into sequential equations is we symbolically solve and plug in. And then, right, we just want to write finally just do the math and solve. So as we do all that, right, once we've come to a solution, we want to write check our units. And we want to check our answer. So we usually check our answer by kind of the scale of the answer, the sense of the answer. So that's how we begin to solve one-dimensional kinetic equations and 